And welcome back to Rabat. Welcome back to the Blitz Marathon, the sixth Blitz Marathon in Rabat. We are ready for round four to start, and um, it's gone quickly, Nigel. Yeah, uh, we've, we've got all GM clashes on the, 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 the top boards. Yeah, which is what we more or less could expect with um, such a diverse field. I mean, big differences in strength. Yeah. So um, these uh, grandmasters that are paired. Uh, against each other now, they, uh, they all have uh, perfect scores. So, so uh, I'll just uh, read out yeah. the, the, the pairing. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, Fernando Peralta uh, against uh, Shakriyam Mamedyarov, they're on mm -hmm. top board. Alfonso Romero Holmes mm -hmm. against Sergei Fedorchuk, board two. And we're going to focus on Luke Van Welle against Fabian Libyshevsky, who yes. is a famous actor. He suddenly is a famous actor. He um, he stars in the French film uh, Le Tournoi, uh, uh, but he's the also, tournament. The tournament. I can translate that. My French is superb. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but that's a rather free translation. <laughs> <laughs> so but Le Tournoi, Fabien Lubishevsky, and he's playing Luc van Weyle. And Luc van Weyle. Yeah. Uh, this is familiar stuff. Uh, uh, Nigel, tell us what is this? Uh, it's a uh, it's a King's Indian. Uh, it's. Mm. It's like these um, mm. old games between uh, Anatoly Karpov and, and Garry Kasparov, something mm. something similar to that. And Luke has mm. shoved his knight in on e5 very early. Mm. This is a standard uh, standard idea, f4. And quite often this, this knight gets evicted with f6, if I'm not mistaken. Could be mistaken. That's, uh... So both of them have uh, one all three games they played so far, and Luke is the defending champion here. He um, he won the tournament last yeah. year, yeah, uh, with a big score, seventeen and a half from twenty one. Yeah, but so F six F six has as come, as evict evicting the uh, evicting the knight. Yeah, going back, and mm. probably a touch, touch uh, more pleasant for White to to play. Mm. What what is Easier. White's Plan in He's just um, getting a bit of space. Mm. I guess he can play a4 and bishop a3. That might be uh, an idea. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know actually. Uh, I need to study this line. Oh, he's gone a4. a4 yeah, yeah. gaining and some more space. The, uh, the knight's gone back. The knight was misplaced on b6 and bishop a3. So, mm -hmm. despite not knowing anything. I came up with the right idea. So common sense in chess <laughs> still works. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, Lubyshevsky's, uh, I'm going to call him Fabian because it's yep. easier for me. Uh, Fab. Yep. Fab. <laughs> Fab is. No, he's yeah. not Caruana, but. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. We, have, we have to be careful there. Yeah. yeah. But he's Fabi. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Fabi. Yeah. Fabian? But of course, it's the same name, Fabian, yeah. Fabiano. So, yeah. Um, Seems to be moving quickly. The, the question mm. is, uh, uh, always, uh, black has to consider the move e4, which sometimes can be a good move, mm. uh, usually isn't, to be quite um, honest, but... Um, because d4 gets yeah, very vulnerable. Yeah, it's, it's, mm. it's, it, it, but, but here, mm. Luke is having a, a think. Um, mm. I'm just wondering. So he's, yeah, he's got knight c5. Okay. And now, but he invested considerable time yeah, in that. Yeah, it's, um, I, th I think he was considering e4 and probably rejected yeah. it. So Again, now, we've got problems with our. So now he's on e4, as far as I can see. Yeah. So probably this running clock doesn't say anything. It's uh, yeah. No, it does. Yeah. Mm. And alas, I can't quite mm. make out what what moves have been played. It's become sharp. But, it's uh, become incredibly sharp. Um, and Fabien has a clear time advantage there. So Luke is under permanent pressure now. He has to. He has to move to. Uh, to get his uh, increments. 
Yeah. And that's annoying. So his bishop, yeah. But Van Wendy does look far more tense, though, doesn't he? Yeah. He looks yeah. uh, on edge. Maybe he's looking to penetrate on, on d6 uh, with this uh, knight b5 move. And he also has to choose a course where he can make a couple of moves yeah. without too much thinking. Yeah, oh, okay. So now I know what's, yeah. what's, what's happened. He's, uh, he's exchanged off. And maybe there is a problem now. I think uh, uh, Fabian is probably regretting having put his knight on the rim on a5 because uh, that looks as if it's misplaced. And has, has he lost an exchange? He he's, looks like he's dropped an exchange. So the position looks good for Van Welly. Looks very good indeed. So um, Fabian is struggling on with a knight for a rook. And I think Van Welly will be very, very happy. He looks slightly less uh, tense than he was a minute mm. ago. Yeah, now he has to, well, keep control, keep moving, keep yeah. making moves. Yeah. No, it looks like this is over, I'm guessing. And Black is also spending more yeah. time now. Yeah, so, yeah. that's and it. He, he resigned. Yeah. yeah. So that's an important win for Luke from Vegas. Yeah. He, um, he got himself under pressure by yeah, using his time. Yeah, I think uh, his position was absolutely fine, mm. but it, it often happens. You're looking for the most incisive move, mm. and then um, you start calculating, and before you know it, a minute or even more has gone, gone yeah. by, and mm. you've, you only, you've only got three minutes to start with, and yeah. then suddenly that puts a lot of pressure on you for the... Uh, so that's a trick to keep this speed. flux going... But, you've, okay. you've got to keep a rhythm, a mm. good rhythm. But mm. having said that, mm. you know, if you've got a move which is really strong, yeah. Yeah. Um, then why not play it? Mm -hmm. Well, they have a long discussion now about uh, all the things that happened, or maybe Lucas asking him. Yeah, let's see what's happening in um, the other games. Not, no, 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 I think stuck. we've got we've got nothing. We've we've got yeah, the other ones are all uh, totally stuck. I'm afraid. Yeah. So, uh, um, unfortunately, uh, it's crashed again uh, for this round, so we, we mm. can't really tell you what's, uh, what's been happening. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait for the results. And, and um, in, in the meantime, I, I am able to tell you that mm. the majority of <laughs> players in this tournament are, in fact, um, unrated. So, oh, no. yeah, okay. yeah. The, uh, but these are are these the blitz ratings, I guess. Or? Uh, I no, maybe these are uh, these are the FIDE ratings. Yeah, FIDE ratings. These are FIDE ratings. Yeah. Um, because that that was one of the funny things. I was talking to Erwin Lamy, uh, yeah. Dutch grandmaster here, and he actually doesn't have a blitz rating. Yes, yes. So that's um, he will um, get on the map here, and we're looking at. Romero Holmes. What can you figure out, Nigel? Um, it's looking like a king and pawn end game in which mm. Alfonso is winning. He moves over there. Yeah. Yep. And so this is a very, <laughs> yep. very uh, modest surprise. Mm, yep. That's 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 all. Yeah, this kid is obscuring everything. <laughs> so now he's going to show how you win this kind With, of uh, simple yeah, endgame. Yeah, trivial endgame. Somebody should clip that, uh, <laughs> clip him round the ears. <laughs> Thank you, Sonny. Yeah, yeah we've missed. The, yeah. Um, 
but probably this was what he was learning yesterday, so and he uh, he saw it. get reprimanded for <laughs> recommending child violence. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you that's a, you better be yeah, careful. Yeah, no, I meant it uh, yeah. Yeah. And this jokingly. Is, this is, yeah. Jokingly, oh, of, course. of course. So yeah. And Alfonso, <laughs> he is uh, pointing at himself uh, to make sure that the right result. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is uh, registered. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're talking about a twenty-four sixty-nine. Mm. Grandmaster beating a 2657. Yeah. Um, it's a slight surprise, but. Mm. Uh, but you know, a I very mean, experienced yeah, he's, he's player. an experienced player. He's been rated a lot, lot higher than that in, yeah. his, in his time. And it's funny to see him win an elementary end game like yeah. this. I mean, he, he was known for his uh, wild games. He just a very tactical player. Yeah. And, um, yeah, he's looking like a happy bunny, isn't absolutely. he? Absolutely. This, this day is already good. Yeah. So um, that's, a, that's a, a mild surprise, Alfonso Romero Holmes winning this game. Is, Is he, he related, uh, related to Sherlock? <laughs> uh, I think we started that sentence <laughs> simultaneously. Uh, yeah, must be. Uh, must, must, be. be. Must, must be. Must be living uh, in Baker Street, he, I think. Yeah, <laughs> Baker Street Blues. No, what was it? There's this Jethro Tull song, Baker Street, whatever. Doesn't matter. Um, so um, we have this uh, slight surprise. We can we see? No, we cannot see uh, what happened in the other games. But uh, well, we, we'll take a brief break and uh, I'll go down there and uh, check what, um, what right. other things um, if there were any further upsets. Yeah, and cuff that kid whilst you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just uh, let him down. <laughs> Good, we'll, we'll be back uh, soon for round five of the uh, Rabat Blitz Marathon. Mm -hmm.